Hey everyone, my name is Shadow, uh, aka Carbon Black, aka The Tracer, aka Atrium Contemno. Um, and I'm going to show you today a cool little app called Insomnia. And so you probably should have noticed by now that if you're downloading an app from the App Store and you sleep your iPod or iPhone, that means just tap the power button, um, that the app continues to download. And so this is really cool. But if you're downloading something from Cydia and you sleep your iPod or iPhone, then it's going to screw it up and corrupt it. And that's not good, and Cydia gives you errors for the rest of your jailbreak experience. Um, so they, someone invented, and you'll see their name in a minute, Insomnia. And it's really cool because it allows uh, all your network processes to continue after your iPod uh, is sleeping. So... To download this, it's really simple. You have to go into Cydia. If you don't have Cydia, then you're probably not jailbroken. If you want to be jailbroken, then you can click on one of the links um, on the video now, and you can view a tutorial on how to jailbreak um, on different OSs. So go into Cydia and click search, and then search for Insomnia. And you can see I've already installed it. As, um, as well as the insomnia toggle so this is really useful um, this is the basic insomnia and it's free and it's from Big Boss uh, this is insomnia pro also from Big Boss it costs some money this is insomnia pro cracked from the sinful iPhone repo it doesn't work uh, the last time I tried it it doesn't work it may be fixed now I don't know so don't get angry at me if it's fixed but um, it hasn't worked for me and then this is the insomnia toggle for SB settings this is really useful because um, if you want, as you'll see later, to turn on Insomnia, you have to go into the app um, and click Enabled. But say you come into city and you say, oh, wow, here's this really cool theme, and it's huge, and my iPod's probably going to sleep, and I don't want to change my settings and everything, so I'll just turn on Insomnia. Well, you have to close Cydia, or background, I guess. Um, and then open up Insomnia, enable Insomnia, close Insomnia, open Cydia back up, and go and search for that theme. SB Settings is really cool because obviously SB Settings overrides any app and it will just be like sort of an in app sort of thing. And you can toggle Insomnia on and off right there. So go ahead and install these two things. Just uh, queue them up and install them at the same time if you want, or install them separately. And then go back to your springboard and you'll notice you have a new icon here. Um, called Insomnia. And so you're going to go ahead and open that up and there's simply one uh, little toggle. So just tap that and it's on and you'll have noticed that this little little tiny icon next to your uh, battery if you don't have the percentage thing or next to the percentage thing um, it shows you that Insomnia, Insomnia has been activated. So you can go ahead and close this and then do whatever you want with Wi-Fi and your connection will never be severed. So that's Insomnia Pro, uh, or Insomnia, rather, and um, that's just the app. But now, if you slide your SB settings, you notice that you'll have a new toggle here. You have to respring. Um, I learned this uh, in a sort of outtake before I did this video. Go to More, and uh, then when you manage your toggles, you have to turn it off and then turn it back on. Um, and then it'll respring and you'll get this insomnia toggle and so you just tap that. So, as I was saying before, if you were to go into Cydia instead of closing Cydia and all that stuff, say you're in Cydia, you say I want to download this theme, you just swipe your finger across the top, turn on insomnia, download your theme, and that's it. So it's really easy, uh, and that's insomnia. And I will be doing a uh, tutorial on SB settings if you've never heard of it. It's a really cool thing. Um, and I'll do that in just a second. So this has been, um, I'm not even going to go through the names anymore, from iPhoneHubSupport.com and TechNewsFeed.tk, which is just starting.